The Ragdoll Rig of the Face How to quickly create this scene? Firstly, I will briefly show how the face rig of my character is arranged. The face rig in my case is the most basic. The simple bone hierarchy for each object of the face, for eyebrows, cheekbones, eyes. For the lower and upper lips, I created double bones hierarchies. I want the lips to bend while they moving. That is a gnaw for me, but your face rig can be of any complexity and have any number of bones. Now let's create a ragdoll for the selected bones. I already have the ragdoll plugin in the scene created with the bones assigned in the retarget tab. Click create ragdoll and quickly get the ragdoll for the whole body. Now I want to equip all the face bones. The powerful advanced tab will help me process all the other bones of the character. Select all the necessary bones and click equip selected. With this button, I created a dynamic tag for each selected bone and its dynamic collider. Now I need to attach the selected hierarchies to the desired object in the scene, in this case, the character's head. With the bones selected before, I select the head bone. The last selected bone tells the plugin that the ragdoll plugin should attach all other bones to the last selected bone. We have attached our objects to the head bone. I also connect the jaw to the head. Select the jaw bone and after it select the head bone. And click connect to. I will attach the three hierarchies of the lower lip to the lower jaw. Click connect to again. And now the lower lip is attached to the jaw. Move the jaw's center of mass closer to a chin to achieve the correct inertia and movements. Tweak parameters of a jaw connector to restrict the movement inside the desired angles. Now I will press play and look the result. Let's add some animation to a character. Add the muscle objects to achieve the sliding of ellipse along the gum, the jiggle deformer to face skin jiggling, the delta mush deformer to smooth the lip tips. Voila! We have created a rag doll face. We got a working system and saved a lot of time. And now we can experiment.